Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm here with Oz. He's there walking around. A um, little bit of a different video today. I um, I didn't say anything months ago because I don't sort of put up much about my life. But um, little Ozzy here, he, uh, he was not very well doggy. And um, he was very, very sick, very sick and um, couldn't stop being sick. And we found out that he had a tumor on his spleen or something like that. So he was very, very sick. And we got him straight into the vet and um, the vet removed his spleen and then discovered that he had cancer, uh, metastasized cancer all around his body. Little thing, look at him, having a little sniff. And that he was given a month to live. So a month came and we prepared and you know how much I love him and I just, I love this dog. And um, then month came and he's still here and month two came, da da da. Six months later, he's still here. Um, and each day is just brilliant with him. Although his behavior has changed a lot. He, um, he's ravenous all the time. His brain isn't quite there. We think it might have spread to his brain. He's very different in personality, but that's okay because that's what you, you sort of deal with. And then a couple of days ago again, he, um, he took a turn for the worse and um, was very, very sick all night. Very, very bad. So he's been on um, no food for a couple of days, just a little bit of chicken here and there because the vet said to take his, um, get his stomach to rest a little bit. He's been put on anti-sickness injections and this sort of weird stuff that we have to put into his stomach. And he's, um, he's okay, he's still, I, I just thought I'd take him out for a walk this morning. Um, little one, a little little potter, and see how he does. And he seems to be sort of enjoying it, really. Um, here's this Ozzy. And uh, he's sort of, you know, perked up. He does this jumping thing, this startling thing, which is new behaviour, as if someone's just poked him and he just, he's very skittish and he just runs off, or he's just about to fall asleep and he just runs, he just goes somewhere. And we don't know what that is. It might be something to do with Maybe there's uh, the cancer's moved to his brain or something. So there's all this new behavior, but he's still here. And um, yeah, we had a terrible night. And we do, we, we as time goes on, we're up and up um, more nights with him um, because his behavior is just getting sort of stranger and stranger and it's all these new things. But I just thought I'd report that Ozzy is, uh, is still here, aren't you Oz? And um, he's got a... Uh, a little bit of vomit beard there. <laughs> a little bit stinky, aren't you, Oz, from all the being sick. And um, that he's just on a walk and is, is very placid. Um, not himself, as you can see. He's very um, subdued, very sleepy, but that's okay. His body needs to rest. So that's what we're doing. And, and luckily the sun is out a little bit so he can get a little bit of sun on his face. He seems to be all right. So uh, I just thought I'd report that, yeah, it's very sad and I felt very upset month, you know, a few months ago when, when we were told the prognosis, but he seems to be surviving and I uh, don't know what will happen. And it's just one of those things, isn't it? You, that you just accept and try and be there just like you would a person, I guess. He's been part of our family for, you know, 13 years now. And um, you just try and make their days as comfortable and as nice as they can be, eh, Oz? Um, and just be there for him, which I will. So uh, I just thought I'd report, and it was it was really hard, and I I didn't want to post anything about it because you know it's it's a dog and all that kind of stuff. But he means the world to me, and um, I would never let anything happen to him. And and as soon as we see him going downhill, we'll take a we'll take a decision and see what happens. But here he is. He's got a, a will of iron, this dog, and. Um, came all the way from Brazil with my sister. We wouldn't keep him there. You know, he survived and he's thrived and uh, yeah, he's doing well, little thing. So here we are, it's Oz Report of the day. Hey, goodbye people, bye bye. <laughs> he's a good boy. <laughs>